to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Lizette and I'm still on my diamond painting stash detox. And I thought today I would show you how I keep track of all my whips. Uh, <laughs> this is Aquarius from Josephine Wall, as you can see. And I have started her, but this is a large project. And I've got a lot of big projects going at the moment and um, well I just thought it would be fun to show you how I track them in my stash detox logbook. So I'm going to show you. So guys, this is my logbook and if you've been around on my channel and you know about the Stash Detox, then you know that I'm tracking everything in my journal and I made a special section for my whips. This is what that looks like. I'll bring you guys up close. So a whip timeline uh, for November 1st, 2021, November 1st to 2022 because I started my diamond painting stash detox on the 1st of November. These are all the diamond paintings that I'm working on. Um, and here you see the numbers 1 till 52. That's for 52 weeks. And my weeks are starting on the on Monday in my schedule and if you're like okay do you know what week 17 is which date yes I do <laughs> because guys these are the weeks and then this is the corresponding date so 17 is the 28th of February and the pink squares around it those are the start of a new month so look like for instance um, 14 is the beginning of february so that i know and this is the beginning of march so that i know when i need to film a monthly check-in for my channel and here in the bottom whip time info enjoy the ride okay Back to this. So when I started my detox, I already had a couple of whips. The first four. Fairest of them all, the Breast Cancer Awareness Ribbon, Sagittarius from Josephine Wall and Sweet Dreams. So that's why they start before the one, because they actually start at zero, which is this line. Okay, and then for each week I just draw the line so that I know how long it took me. So this one I had already started at the beginning of the detox and I finished her on the 30th of November. The breast cancer awareness one I have already started also but I'm still working on it. Well self-explanatory Sagittarius I've finished, Sweet Dreams I've almost finished but it's still going, Healing is finished, Mini Lucky and Mini Cage are my large projects that I started in week five six so that is at the beginning of december as you can see over here and then aquarius is the one that i just showed you i have started it a little bit but that's a bit a little bit of the on the back burner and talisman that i started during the holidays and that I have finished this week. And here you see 2022, it's a yellow vertical line just for me. And then as I said you guys in my goals and plans video, I want to finish my current whips first before I start a new one. And so hopefully these uh, five remaining that I've got still going, so breast cancer, sweet dreams, Mini Lucky Mini Cage in Aquarius. 
I'm going to do those first and then I'm going to start a new one and I'm just going to place that one over here and start it somewhere over there because these two are really really big. So I definitely know that I'll be working with the current setup for a little while longer. But guys I'm really curious to know what you think of the way that I track my whips in my logbook. Do you do the same? Do you have a certain setup? I just thought it would be really handy to have an overview like this for the entire year on one page and okay maybe if I have finished this part then I would need to continue over here so if I have enough diamond paintings done to fill this entire thing up for 2022 and there's no more room I can always venture I don't know I can always make a little list on this page to continue uh, but then I'll just need to put in these numbers because well I'm pretty sure that <laughs> I won't have this page filled before week 24 and week 24 is April 18th so <laughs> no worries my setup works <laughs> and of course you can pick two, two whole pages but this is my setup Okay guys, let me know if you like it. I hope you do. And um, next week, guys, I hope that I can show you this. Because look, I haven't even colored it in, but that's number four talisman. And I only need to film the bonbon and finish up Sweet Dreams and then it's time for a little gift because then I have finished my first five diamond paintings in my stash detox. Okay, and then it will take me a really long while to get from there till there because in these are mini caged, mini lucky, the breast cancer and Aquarius. <coughs> and a new one that I can start after I have finished my current whips. Yes, I'm pretty strict with myself, but well, it seems to work for me, so I'm just going to keep going. So guys, if you like this video, I really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And well, next week I'll be back with another video in the Diamond Painting Stash Detox series. And I hope it will be for this one. But We'll see. I don't know <laughs> if I have time to finish Sweet Dreams this week. But we'll see. Thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!